So in setting up the dental practice, we've had lots of decisions to make behind the scenes, decisions around the equipment, the build. And one of the things that uh, we've been discussing this week, actually super important, is the lights in the practice. And one thing we were really sure on was we didn't want that super bright blue artificial light throughout, which you see in a lot of clinical buildings. So we actually consulted with a, a light expert to, to help us design what lights we would use in the practice. And in the waiting areas, quite straightforward, we just picked something that was nice and warm and, and, and relaxing. But in the clinical areas, we spent a little bit more time there. So in the surgery, something that's really important is light quality. You can't just stick anything in there. So there's three things to consider. There's the colour temperature, you know, is it blue, is it a bit more orange and more warm and relaxing. There's the, the overall brightness and then there's something called the CRI, the colour rendering index. Now that is essentially how accurately does the light represent the colours that are, it's shining on. And, and in dentistry, super important that. So because you're doing a lot of colour shade matching, so with, with whiteness levels, with composite bonding, with veneers, it's really important that the, the accuracy um, of, of that light is very high. Now, a bit geeky, we have found some bulbs um, that hit a CRI level of 98. Just to put that into perspective, daylight is 100. You know, that's that's perfect reproduction. Uh, your typical bulbs in your house, around 80. If you're lucky, they might be up to 90. And even some of the leading dental um, uh, loops manufacturers that you, where they have the, the little light on the, on the, uh, the loops, they advertise a top level of around 90. So we've got up to 98. So what does it mean as a patient? It, it just means that you're standing the best chance of getting the result that you want, you know, whilst you're in surgery, if it looks great in surgery, it's going to look great out in daylight and, and under uh, any other light. So one of the things we're dead excited about, the lights haven't come yet, but when they do, we'll um, probably give a little bit of an update uh, on those and really excited to see the patient's reaction, especially when they first walk in and it not feeling like that clinical environment. Hopefully we get that that right and it, and it does feel really warm and, and welcoming.